Emerald Ball 2022, we are back right here in Los Angeles and we're starting with our coverage. I'm here with legendary, one and only, uh, right before the flight, by the way, Victor Da Silva. Man, thank you for coming so much. It is my great pleasure to be here with you today and to be at Emerald Ball. It's a great event. Um, it's incredible the size of this event, by the way. Yes. It's an incredible yes. event. I'm sad that I have to leave, but I have to go back to Europe. I have things to do, you know? Listen, you show your face here, you are present. This is awesome, you know? Yeah, yeah, support, you know, the support of the dance. Uh, wherever I can, anywhere in the world, I'm there for that. That's what I love for. I was experienced because yesterday you performed... Uh, with Sophia. Yes. My, my prime student. Yes. Uh, yeah, it, it was incredible. It was incredible because, you know, it's like for me, everything is a challenge. Uh, never mind the professional side, but yeah. the pro-am side, because to try and take a pro-am lady and make her as professional as possible and to look like a pro show is my, my goal, my objective. This is what I'm looking for to do, you know, to, to, to make it. It's very difficult, but it takes a lot of dedication and hard work. So I always commence with like, uh, are you in it for, for, what is it that you're looking for? You really want to be like a pro, even though it's a category of pro. It's fine. Let's 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 work right. like pros. So yesterday it worked out. Uh, it's been a, a project in my head for the last few months. I started with the only in Ohio, actually. Oh wow! Yeah, it was like a five-day, uh, five-day rehearsal. I had sent to the video of the of what I wanted of choreography, and then when I arrived, we went five days straight into Ohio. But then we did the New York Dance Festival. We did the Boston. The Eastern, and then we did the, this one now. And over then, we've been working as much as we can. See, you tell me how much passion we put in right here into interviews, but you are yourself very, very passionate. And here's my question How do you achieve that world class level like you are? You travel from country to country, different time zones. And more, most importantly, I was awake today at 8, I saw him in the lobby, all awake, happy. Yeah. How do you achieve that? Uh, well, the thing is, I try to find the moments of rest. So the most important thing that I have to do is I have to take care of myself in order to take care of my partners, whichever be, you know, and I'm dancing with different partners, many different yes. partners. So um, my idea is like this. I have to be in the very best shape I can be. I have to be strong, you know, towards myself in the sense of like disciplined. When I mean strong, it's disciplined because discipline is everything. So to bed early when I don't need to be up late, if it's an event, uh, waking up very early is, a, is like a thing with me. I don't know why, since a uh, young boy. Uh, I always used to wake up early, do a cardio training exercises, fitness, try to have a healthy lifestyle because the travels takes the most out of me. Like uh, getting on time zones, changing. Um, but now that the, the COVID era is, is over, you know, this, this COVID situation, it feels like it's again, I'm back on again. The first two, three months took me a bit of time because I was trying to get back on the swing, you know, get back on that horse and just get going. Yeah. But the energy that I carry within me, it's easy. I can okay, but you, but you find time, okay, so, okay, what does mean to be world class for you? Because there is, I can see there's a definite like image. Yeah. So how does it look for you? Because you're trying to, to achieve it. class. Yeah, to be world class. Because you, for me, because I see it, you're, trying to, uh, you're trying to achieve it all the time. It's uh, discipline. I mean, when I see someone that's very disciplined, you understand there's rules. Yeah. And the rules that you set, you have to live by them. The second one is you have, to, for me, is to take care of your family. And the family means if it's in the dance world, we talk about dance, then this is your family. Be your partners. You have to always look after each other, you know? That's cool. But start with yourself, by example. You can't like point fingers on them and go, and then what are you doing? You know, sleeping until late, not resting. So. Most important thing is discipline yeah. through the, the values and the rules that you create for both of you. And then secondly, look after your family, look after each other. That's what I've always done. It's no secret that like when people say yes and food and all that, yeah, that's all part of it. It's how you actually apply it on a daily basis and don't lose the focus because it's very easy to lose focus. Very yeah. easy to look, lose the drive. You know, there's that drive that we want to have and often fades away you know so what's your ultimate goal when you when you're losing the focus what are you coming back to what's your anchor I'll tell you what it is uh, for me is I don't like to sometimes people put 100% into everything yeah. constantly 100% 24-7 365 yes. days uh, you need a diversity as well you can't just focus like I put 100% into my dancing into the art of dance when it's dance I can also diversify and go into something else like for instance I have property and development in Portugal that I do I used to do it in South Africa so I can take away a little bit of my private life and go and do something that I enjoy doing too you know secondly I devote time to myself 
to hobbies. For instance, uh, uh, I like to play guitar, so I spend time, you know, you, you know, playing rock or blues, and I love that. So I take time for myself in order to feel always fresh and rejuvenated and feeling great towards my partners or towards my travels. Otherwise, I'm going to be burned out, and that's what I do. Now I feel so fresh. I'm going to play my guitar right now. You should, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is one and only Victor Da Silva. By the way, when are you coming back? I will be back in June. I'm coming to New York and then I'll be at Millennium. So Millennium awesome. is the next one. I will, I will see you there. Ladies and Emerald gentlemen, Emerald Ball 2022, we will be back. Stay tuned on all platforms. Awesome.